I think this is gonna go terribly wrong. <laughs> Where's the palm trees? Where's the sunshine? All I see is nature and Tim Hortons and Canadian flags. Well, guess what that means? We are back in British Columbia and I am not home. I'm actually in Kelowna. Kelowna is the home of August luxury motor cars and well, I bought something. I bought my next daily driver for back in Vancouver Island and I'm super pumped to pick that up. But in the meantime, Max is gonna pick me up in a minute. He has a R35 GTR with a rear wheel drive conversion and he said, my tires are dead, I need new ones, we might as well finish them off, so that could be interesting. And then our friend Ryan, with all the crazy epic Lamborghinis, he said, Dave, hit me up, you're in town, let's do something. So stay tuned, it's gonna be crazy. In the meantime, I gotta get moving. Oh, I see something. I see something noisy. What's up, dude? What? Nice to meet you. You ready to cause some trouble today? I am, this is Max, you guys. And Max is friends with Alex Choi, so I apologize for that, right? Not as loud as him, though. So Everybody loud. needs that one friend. Okay, Max, tell me about your GTR. All right, so it's a, it's a 2010 um, Canadian car. Um, this year, we recently had full bolt-ons. So we've got uh, injectors, fuel pumps, downpipes, exhaust, um, intakes, a couple of other things, too. And Vex Performance's dyno, which is the Heartbreak dyno, so it's a true wheel horsepower number, no lies. It was 509 and 560 all-wheel which is um, quite a bit of power on that dyno. Uh, similar, like Alpha 9 GTRs, we're making around 550 to 600, so. Uh, how do you convert it? Well, here's the thing. So, most people go down the route of, you know, removing drive shafts, pulling fuses on, you know, certain older skylines. I do it the DDE way, and you basically just do all-wheel drive donuts until you blow up your front diff and then laugh about it. <laughs> so you literally were screwing around and destroyed your center diff and now you have a real drive conversion. But now this car, you do donuts. Yeah. Hey guys, guess where we are? That is right, the world famous RY Phipps on Instagram. There's a tennis court, oh. but more importantly, there's the SV. Did you an attempt to do the Fryer special? Of course. I don't have a lot of confidence in this. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Why not? That's, that's the problem with oh, my car. Your GTR, it, it is rear wheel drive, yeah. right? Yeah. What have you done to it? Donuts and blew up the front diff. Oh, that's why it's rear wheel yeah. drive? <laughs> cool. Okay, well, let's see you do donuts in my driveway. What do you think, Ryan? I think this is going to go terribly wrong. Here we go. Oh, God. I'm, my hands are shaking. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That was. Look at that. Dude, well done. We didn't die. Yeah, that was amazing. Look left at how. My, left my signature on your driveway. Dude, friend. that is pretty sweet. You actually did it. I didn't have high hopes for you, just to be honest. When in doubt, hit launch control. <laughs> so, what car's next now? This car sounds amazing. Oh. There's nothing better than that V12. Just the way it purrs, you can just hear the engineering. When that did the full all-wheel drive snap, it was like, oh, I'm di I'm dizzy for you. It's like a, here's here's when it launched. It launched towards my house. <laughs> no, when you when you hit that launch, I was like, oh god, uh oh, uh oh, and then it just it whipped around. Yeah, just 
foot to the floor, oh. full send. I think you have so your that, hands like this or something. Do you feel in control there? Is that like I'm gonna point my, you know, my mercy at the house and hopefully it comes around. Otherwise, we got a new living room mercy. There was no control. So we're here at Lamborghini in Kelowna, which is obviously your. Do, 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 do. No, we don't sell cars here. No, nothing's for sale. No, this is like, this is like lifetime collection. I noticed you are a fan of the V12. Love the V12s. Let me ask you a question. Yep. Why? Well, the V12s, there's something about them. The V10s are great, great sound, mm -hmm. but the V12s, they've just kind of got this roar about them, and there's so much power. When you put your foot to the floor, the gears are so long, they're geared to go 200 plus miles an hour. There's nothing like a V12, and especially if you've got an exhaust on it. Hey Mark, we have a question here. So we're with a, what year is this car? A 1988 and a half Lamborghini Countach Quattro valve. And a half, don't forget that. And I just called it a Diablo a minute ago. <laughs> um, now, down the middle of the uh, intake manifold, there's all these skinny black lines. We're trying to figure out, is that fuel or what is that? Those are fuel lines. They're fuel lines. They okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, it's basically we, we like that a garden line. drip system. It's what? I said it's like a garden drip system for fuel. Really? So my Countach has like got my Countach has got a garden hose in it. That's what feeds the fuel into the cylinders. I thought it was unicorns that did that. Well, that's when you're sleeping. They have to sneak in. They can't have to spot it. <laughs> that's where all the fairy poo comes from. Yeah, it's when you sleep. That's when that magic happens. <laughs> yeah, we're not changing the oil today. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, give it one. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Hey, good job. Okay. You know what, guys? It's easier to do a donut in a Murcielago SV all-wheel drive than it is to open the yeah, hood yeah. of a Lambo truck. Yeah. No, Which is fi fiberglass? Uh, this is uh, composite carbon fiber. So what? This is actually one of the first things that Lamborghini ever made in carbon fiber. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's a Countach V12, but it looks different. The intake manifold's different. It looks like there's some sort of breather system for the... Well, it looks like a tank. Those are... Face so those little yellow guys over there, that's the pre-filter. So there's two sets of filters on this. Cause this was made for the, the army in the Saudi desert. So all, like when it's driving through the sand dunes, it's gonna suck up sand into here and it's gonna collect the sand into there before it actually goes into the air, air filters. Hold on. Is this a DDE car? Oh, Damon drive this one time? Oh, guys, guys, that just happened when I did that cyclone. Oh, no. Crap. No way. <laughs> the SV. Oh man! Is that expensive? Uh, Lambo? Yeah, I think it's carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> People say to me like, what got you into DDE with Damon and all that? The number one thing was is that he drives his cars because I've always loved cars, but like for me, car shows, things like that are so boring. But seeing an SV whip car, whip donuts like that, and then we meet you, and it's literally like, destiny. <laughs> it's destiny. <laughs> Sorry, Damon. It's destiny. We're starting our own channel. Yeah. Ryan drives exotics? And Dave films me driving exotics. Wait, this what? has been done before. <laughs> this has been done before. So, would this really be a DD vlog if I didn't let Dave beat on the GTR? Can, can you handle- Can, you, can you handle a real supercar? Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> this is fast! <laughs> no! Oh, well, you guys, we were chasing an SV. We have two little doggies inside, so I think Ryan's gonna behave a little bit more. But uh, he's a madman. I must admit, I'm in love. It's a cool car. Right? Done, with, done with you. With the SV. Just gonna step up now. Just gonna jump. <laughs> Just... Okay, guys, I'm gonna hop seat, sit with Ryan in the SV, but first, we're at his mom's house, and he told me he bought two new Lamborghinis, and they're here. Come on, come take a look. Two of them. Two. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, oh, you did me dirty like that. I did, I did. Two new SVs, I got a, an orange one, and that one's actually a blue one. Wow. Yeah, they're not for me, actually. They're for my nephews. They're turning four right after Christmas, so this is their Christmas present for them. Oh, man, this we... car is so beautiful. He's all excited. He's gonna race a Mercy, he thinks. He thinks he's gonna race a Mercy. We're gonna do a parallel parking race. We're gonna do a downtown tour of Kelowna 
and a supercar and a sports car behind us. The sports car. Oh, poor Max. The problem with the word supercar is there's actually no definition. It's all opinion. Oh, this is downtown Kelowna. Downtown Kelowna. I actually love Kelowna. If you guys have never been here before, come check it out. Stay at Predator Ridge and then go buy a car from August Luxury Motor Cars. <laughs> and come I'll, see me. Come see Ryan. I'll post his home address below. What? How much were those done yet? Brother, you can afford peasant. <laughs> second I thought let's go New vehicle, which you guys all know what that is. It's no secret. I'm not gonna click menu. I'm not gonna make you wait. <laughs> I bought a first gen V8 American Muscle Ford Raptor, and I'm gonna be driving it home tonight. <laughs> it's not heavy, I'm just very weak. Oh, Ryan, thank you for that experience. V12 NV right there. You guys, I hate being the person that constantly says this, but for the vlog, we need a Mercy, an SV. And manual. One last look at this beautiful 6.5 liter V12 producing how many horsepowers? In this car? 670 horsepower. All right, you guys, we are back. Oh, oh it's so cold here. Got the R8 Spider. Got the 488. The GT3 RS which is a Nardo Gray 2017 V10 R8 the dual clutch transmission. Now, in 2015, they stopped making the manual gated, so there's none of that. They also stopped making the V8, so it's the end of an era, which makes my R8 a little bit, I won't say rare, it's absolutely the wrong word, but kind of special. Uh, oh, hold on a second. What if I bought a 458 and did this crazy 458 build? It will not be the same as Damon's, because that car is, well, it's a unicorn, it's one of one, it'll ever exist, but I like 458s. Look at this guy, do you guys? Personally, I'm not a fan of spiders. I just don't like convertibles. I don't like the look. No hate, no hate, it's just not my style. Matt just texted me, says the truck will be here in a second. I see it, I see it. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Now I'm a real man, what do you think? Hello. How are you? Is that for me? Thank you. Are you not cold right now? I am I, absolutely freezing. She I has no jacket. It's so hot. It's not cold at all. Oh my God. It's a little colder up here than LA. I am not a man, but I can pretend now that I have a Ford Raptor first gen 6.2 liter American muscle. Because this truck's over like 78 inches or whatever, they have to have these three lights here and this light here and that light here, turn on right now. What do you guys think though? Obviously this is not a truck channel, but I wanted something all wheel drive with four doors. So I called Matt here at August Luxury Motor Cars. He said, dude, just get a Raptor. They don't depreciate, they're super comfortable. Yes, they're bad on gas, but again, a DDE, who cares about gas? Oh. oh yeah. Built Ford tough. All right you guys, first ride of the Raptor. Again, I trust these guys so much, I haven't even I've never even driven this truck before. You didn't even look at it until now. Yeah. It's... Now this is a 420 horsepower V8. Now, it's a 7,000 or 6,000 pound truck. It's not gonna be fast. Uh, it'll be quick, it'll be surprisingly fast for a truck, but it's not gonna be like compared to an R8 or a supercharged Huracan. First thing we're gonna do is find somewhere to get it dirty. 
because yeah. honestly, I really appreciate the boys at August Luxury Motor Cars getting this thing detailed and clean on the outside as well as the inside. It, it's even funnier because when they brought it to the dealership, they actually sent it back to get re-detailed unknowingly that we were gonna take it off the lot and straight into the mud, so thanks yeah, guys. That's just, I personally don't like, uh, this is really weird, I don't like clean vehicles. I like them looking driven. Like on Ryan's SV had the chip front lip, I was like, that's gangster. I mean, that's like, it's been used. That, I don't know, like, a Pagani Hyra, beautiful, perfect carbon. I like the dirty race car carbon. This wrapper will never be clean. Like, I'll probably never wash it. I don't know how to do that. Right after that highway nonsense, we are now officially, I'm gonna get flamed for this. We're off-roading! Whoa! Woo! Woo! America! Hold on. Hold on. Get ready with the new handle. All right, we're doing this Ken Block style. Call my turn. Hold it, left, oh, left, left, three, right, left. Right, Dance, right, listen to me, Daddy. Right, listen to me. Oh, someone burnt a truck here. What? Yeah. Holy. Yeah, it's from a burnt down vehicle. Happens all the time. So, someone burnt a vehicle down? I can see the. You guys, look. There's the alternator right there. <laughs> so why is this for insurance fraud? Um, I don't know. People actually steal trucks all the time. Come off road them up here, and quite often you'll see them burnt down in places that you know the truck is probably stuck beyond being pulled out without it being in pieces. They usually just torture them and claim insurance. Um, the police come up here maybe once a week, just do a sweep and you'll usually come out with a tow truck of, you know, a couple burnt up cars and all you see is... Well, I overinsured this truck, so... Oh, you're on the rock. Huh? With a hit Your front tire. Oh, yeah, we're good. You're good. Keep on going. <laughs> Got a little bit muddy. Is it muddy now? A little um, bit. You know, obviously, sliding a truck around is much different than a car. It's way more fun. I get it now. I get it. I get it. People love these things so much. Look at how much we're having. And we're not even breaking the laws right now. Are we? What do you think, guys? Should we trade in all the supercars and just get a fleet of trucks? What's this? We don't got a supercar. Well, neither do you. <laughs> well, DD family, we've officially done the Raptor dirty. Like, literally. That's how we roll here. We don't buy things that are pretty. That's why I'm in the channel. That's why you're in the channel. You'll figure it out. Been a crazy experience in this Raptor. I'm loving this. Back where I live on Vancouver Island, there's lots of places to go. Places you can never take a supercar. So, this is for me. You probably won't see this truck again in the vlog, maybe once in a while. We're just not doing trucks content. But if you really want us to, leave a comment below. If you want this Raptor to be built or whatever as part of the channel, as a series, I'm super curious. Leave a comment. If not, we won't. Okay. We got this truck good and muddy. Oh, I almost stripped right there. Check out you guys. That's how DD takes delivery of a Ford Raptor. Not even 10 minutes owning it and straight to the mud. I love it. Okay. So, dude, thank you so much. Thanks for a thank great you, day. Dave. Thanks for hanging out. What's up guys, we are now downtown Vancouver. That was a quick drive for you. It was a five hour drive for me. I hit ice and snow and it kinda sucked. Luckily I'm in a big truck and well, I'm alive. It actually wasn't that bad, just you know, drama. Now, we are pulling into Alec Choi's house. Here we are guys, we are at Alec Choi's. Now, I'm showing you his address because you don't know what room he's in or what floor he's in, so I think we're safe. Yeah, Alex lives in the freaking hotel, which is awesome. He has an amazing view up there. coming after me. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Right. My yeah. first time seeing the R8 in person with this wrap, and it actually looks awesome. <laughs> I love it. On video and pictures and camera, it's not as vibrant, 
as it is a person. Dude, this wrap, like no lie, I haven't seen a person yet, actually looks amazing. It looks way There's wild. so much more crisp and wild in person. Well, we made it to the mountain. There's a small, small, small problem. Little, little problem, I'll show you. Road closed. Never happened. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Security. Well guys, it's been a long day. I think the only way to end this vlog Button. Big thank you to August Luxury Motor Cars, Mike, Matt, the whole team there for hooking it up in this epic Ford Raptor. Thank you to Max, to Ryan, to Alec Choi. Thank you to you guys for watching. Hit up shopdd.com, pick up some epic merch. And Alec Choi is probably going to jail now. Peace!